today let's take a look at how to register students in our registration system. If you go to our login page, first thing you'll do is enter your username and password. This will take you to our landing page in the registration system and we'll have important announcements related to registration on this page. Uh, please read those announcements, look for anything new. We have a legend over on the right side of the screen that can help you with what some of the symbols mean. But to enroll a student, click on View All Students. You'll see a list of students that you've already entered their demographic data for. To add a new student, click on Add Student. And it will take you to the demographic page. And you will have to enter something in every box on this page. It won't let you advance past the page without uh, completing all the fields. You can use the, the pop-up calendar to enter the student's birth date. Some schools have created a, uh, a white paper, a hard copy paper, that reflects this page that they have students fill out this information for. Uh, it's essential that you get the correct email address and phone number for a student. This is one of the first methods in which a teacher will contact the student. Uh, if they do not have uh, an email account, uh, there's some, some free email services that they can use, Gaggle, Google, Yahoo. Much of this information you can take right from NCYs. If the parents do not have an email address, uh, you can put NA on that field, but definitely try to get from the student uh, their parents' email address. Our teachers will contact parents uh, and you, the DLA, consistently with how the student's doing. One of the buttons to fill out coming up is if the student has an IEP or 504, uh, go ahead and click this. Our instructors will see that the student does have an IEP or 504 plan, uh, but after classes begin, you'll, you will need to send what the modifications are to the instructor, and the instructor will meet those modifications, what uh, he, he or she's able to do from their end. Some things you might have to take care of on your end if there's a, a read aloud uh, or separate testing, something like that, that would have to be carried out on your end. Uh, but save when you're done and if you've entered all the information correctly you'll get a confirmation up top there that it's correct. Go back to view all students and you see your new entry there. And there's some icons over on the right. If you mouse over the, the farthest one on the right it will let you edit the page where you can go back in and correct information or change information. And once you've entered a student, you can use this same entry from semester to semester. You don't have to re-enter a student's name. If you click over the information or view button uh, on this page, you can see the student's username and password for Blackboard, and you will have to give that to the student. And it generates it as soon as you enter their demographic information in and save it in the registration system. We do not send that to the student. Uh, they can log into Blackboard right away with that, but they'll see that they're not registered for any classes until the first day that classes begin. Now to actually get them into a course, if you'll click on View All Enrollments, you'll see a list of all of our courses that are available. And be sure that you make the right selection. Be sure if it's a summer course, you choose summer and not spring or fall. Click the icon to the left of the course name to register the student. You'll see all the students that you've entered demographic information for in the, the blue column on the right. Select the student that you'd like to roll, enroll. Click the button by their name. Click on Add Student. You'll get a confirmation message asking if you are sure that you want to enroll this student, click yes. And you will see the student's name appear on the left side now in the red column. And it will give you a message if they're enrolled or on the wait list. Accepted pending enrollment means that they have a seat in the course.
if I go back to view all enrollments, I can go to another course now, a different course, and enroll more students. I'll still see my complete list on that right-hand side. And I can select another name to enroll in a course here. But let me go back and take that student out of the course. This is how you would drop a student during the registration period and up to day 10 of the course. The DLA has to drop the student in the registration system. Go back and click by an enrolled student's name in the red column. Select Remove Request and click Update. And it will either immediately remove the student or you'll get a information box that says uh, removal request made and they will come out of the course and the student's name will appear back on the right side in the blue column and that's it for our registration system